Over 100 Equity Leaders Program ELP scholars have received admission for studies in global universities. The 113 ELP scholars have secured scholarships valued at over 2.7 billion Kenya shillings for the four-year duration of their undergraduate studies. Uh, Emmanuel Kashogu Moriyuki. Speaking at a send-off ceremony held at Equity Center in Nairobi, Equity Group Foundation Executive Chairman Dr. James Mwangi asked them to be Equity's goodwill ambassadors. Integrity and honesty is the bedrock of character. Remain your true north and champion during this period. It will keep you safe and it will keep you a valued member of your network. Be willing to learn more, including the cultures of others. We are releasing you to be an ambassador of Equity Group. The more you perform well in your school, the more our relationship with the admission directors of your university strengthen, and the more opportunities we can get for your siblings into the future. You have made it at uh, the peak of the summit of university admission that is the base of your university education in a global university. The 113 scholars drawn from Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda and DRC will pursue their degree programs in 71 universities in 22 countries across the globe, including Harvard, University of Pennsylvania, Princeton Charlotte University, Murugi, Columbia University, Brown University, and Cornell University. I want uh, to uh, encourage you to adapt and to be agile. Your path is not going to be easy and predictable. You will be meeting the best of the best from across the group. But your resilience, your ability to grow based on the environment you find yourself, who help you to quickly adjust and fit. Reminding the scholars of the responsibilities that come with their admission to the top universities, Dr. Mwangi emphasized on the importance of giving back to society. Those much has been given, much will be expected. Give back where you can. And the most effective way of giving back is ensuring that next year you are joined by two other ERP scholars because you mentored them, you coached them. It's a path you have walked through. Use the knowledge and skills you acquire to contribute to the development and progress of your community and action. Allow yourself to start to be felt in your village. Start a program that could impact your village and do it at scale to the Kenyan nation using the equity uh, leadership program. Dr. Mwangi, who is also Equity Group Managing Director and CEO, said the scholars carry the hopes and dreams of their families, communities, and country. Be a transformation agent, and we'll give you a template of the African Recovery and Syrian Plan, which aims to catalyze a demand-driven transformation of Africa. Acquire skills and competences, exposure and preferable experience that can help make Africa make it to the next level of development. Equity Group Chief Operating Officer Samuel Kirubi, who was the first ELP, discussed his academic and professional journey to his current position. The investment that is happening in you is the very essence of the bank and the appeal to you from everyone, go and get the best and come back. I joined the bank in 1998, but more than that is having completed my university in Kenya, but an opportunity to work in the bank for the last 26 years, which speaks to the land way that you have in the great organization that everybody is speaking about, the equity group. Continuing the same trend, you've demonstrated hard work, in, um, you've been industrious to be able to get here, you're highly com competent, you're the best that we have in the country, so do not fall back into 
comfort zones. Even as you go outside there, continue to work very, very hard, knowing that even the institutions that you're going are collecting scholars from all over the world that are coming as the best of the best. So comfort zones, absolutely none. We at Equity Group Foundation and the wider Equity Group, we have your backs. Should you encounter any challenges, successes, look back and always share them with us. We're here to walk the journey with you. A continuing student at Princeton University, Meshak Omolo, an ELP alumni, gave the scholars tips on how to easily integrate away from home. I have made many friends. I have one friend who goes to University of Pennsylvania and courtesy of him, I have been to Ethiopia. Some of my friends are across the globe. Today, I am confident that if I go to California, I have a friend who may walk me across the streets. And so is the same case with if I go to Hong Kong or maybe Pretoria. In a nutshell, I have a wider network. The new cohort brings the number of equity scholars admitted to Ivy League institutions to 204. To date, 970 scholars have received admission and scholarships to global universities through the ELP. My goal was do my KCSE, get an 84, get into equity, go to work at Pfizer. I went on with my critical age counseling program and because of my dream I ended up choosing Harvard. Um, I'm, I'm going there in, in two weeks, yeah, and I'm also really, really grateful to James for giving us this opportunity to meet with these great minds and to be part of something so, so great because we are the leaders of tomorrow. And it will be so selfish of us to take our brains out there and use them to help other people if you're not coming back to help our communities. My family uh, escaped from South Sudan uh, in the year 1999 and then arrived in Kakuma in the year 2000. They were working on food. I was later born in the camp. I managed to score an A grade and emerged the top student in Baringo County. And that was the day that I learned about the Equity Leaders Program. Equity has changed lives uh, all around. Dr. James Mwangi, I am very thankful to you and the entire Equity Group for the amazing work that you've done through the Equity Leaders Program and the amazing work that you continue doing. I can truly say that my life from a refugee camp to a global university, one of the best universities in the world, has truly been transformed. Thank you. I remember even the poor people could call us poor. When I was in class seven, unfortunately I lost my dad. And so the poverty state advanced again more because now the breadwinner is gone. I believe the selection was fair enough because I was one of the people that if I had not gotten the chance to be a Wings to Fly scholar, then that was my life there. That I couldn't even afford to go to a day school. Equity Group Foundation, I'm grateful for the opportunity that you've given me, and I believe I'm speaking to the highest percentage of us. You've given us an opportunity. We've become the most privileged people in the community.